I'm gonna go in your tracks. All right. <laughs> oh my god. You're just sinking right in. I actually can't get through here. Can you? Oh. All right, here we go. Let's get in here. Watch your head. Do not, do not break that off yet. Okay. Oh my god. Look at these things. I could get impaled on those. Yeah, let's be careful. I almost did. Crazy. On guard. <laughs> All right. Wait. Not bad boy. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Let's not play with the icicles. Go in the house. All right. Let's go check it out. Okay. Whew. Okay. Well. It smells better. Still stinks. It does stink. <laughs> so let's see what we have our hands on. So now we're in here. Now we gotta decide. You know. We, we, we couldn't even see this before. I'm oh sh. What the. Oh my God, I don't even know where to go. Uh, so it's a big living room. I think I just threw up in my mouth. Need a railing right there. I'm wondering if this is smoke damage or just filth. This is pretty bad. We, we may have to gut this down to the suds or So I think before we it. do that, I think that we have Aaron, <clears throat> our paint specialist come in here Yeah. from Glidden or PPG and have, she, she'll come in here and give us a full assessment and yeah. she'll let us know if they have a product that can paint over this. Right. Because that's going to save us a ton of money. If we have to start gutting everything, we didn't plan on that. Yeah. If you start gutting a whole house, you're going to add 10 grand on minimum for sheetrock and insulation and everything else. This but is the reason you bring hand sanitizer <laughs> in every house that you go in. That's just hand filth going upstairs. That's all. So listen, here, let's talk about some positives. All right, the floors aren't well, terrible. They had linoleum and our team ripped, ripped linoleum up and underneath it, we have some stains, but that this will all clean up. Yeah, we can we can do a darker stain on this, and it'll yeah. look fine. Yeah, need new electrical because obviously we only have we only have two prong. We want to update all the electrical. We didn't know about that, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to be putting new railings in, right, and all that uh, new stairs. So the kitchen. I wonder if you could get away with those though. That uh, well, probably not. They're not decode. A kid could throw. Up because well, that could actually be a really cool contemporary design. You could paint these black, but a kid could fall through that. So yeah, well, we will have to replace those probably. We don't have. To, yeah, okay, okay. I mean, if somebody gets an FHA loan, they probably yeah, they probably won't fly. So here's the deal: the kitchen had a huge hole in the floor. It had rotted right through, and so our team. We heard about this, we hadn't seen it yet, but our team already put brand new plywood down. There was a, there was a huge well, When we first hole. came here, we couldn't even get in the kitchen right. because there was a pile of stuff up to there. There's, All right. another, there's a doorway. Is that a doorway or it's is that a, a door. closet? What is that? Over that there? looks like a basement. I don't know how we're gonna get to the basement. How do you get there? Don't touch anything. Well, honey, we gotta see what's going on here. This is, we gotta see if this is, why does Neil think this is a good deal to buy? Which we're looking at the structure now, right? Okay. If you remember, I was, I was crawling right here. I was crawling up over top of this and trying to get through here. And the nice fly trap that was hanging. Yes. <laughs> this is not oh, a look at this. Oh, oh fly they <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why they had flies. And then so this floor had a huge hole in it. So here we are in the kitchen. Which is now the best part of the house because it's gutted. <laughs> yeah, it's gutted right down to the studs here. Well, it has insulation, that's good. So, here's the house. So, again, we have new doors, we have new windows, we knew all that going in. We have access to the plumbing, it's copper pipes, so copper pipes is good. So, bottom line, besides needing a screen there, we're good to go here just to redo the kitchen, right? Are you going to open that wall up at all? Yeah, probably. Open that wall just so it's a yeah. bigger opening Just so kitchen. you can see all the way through. Put a little breakfast bar there. Uh, it's a little tight for that. Think so? For maybe one chair. Well, I was just thinking if we did, if we did a bar here, just open it up. No, you can't do that because the stairs go right there. So oh, okay. there's no room to put a bar stool. That's what I meant. I, I was wrong. I just want to make sure I was wrong about that. But we could definitely coming. chop this wall in half so you can see through to the living okay. room. That, uh, that furnace is not its last leg. It doesn't sound too good downstairs, does it? All right, so, so 
There's a downstairs, upstairs. We know about so the bedrooms. So we we didn't even see this We've before seen the downstairs because at all. we couldn't get in the kitchen itself. It's we only peeked through the windows. So let's go take a look at that. All right, let's see what's happening down here. Okay, wow, that furnace is on its last leg. Hear that thing cranking away? All right, so laundry room area. Huh. All right, so what do we have going on here? This is our basement. It's not, it's, yeah. the, the foundation's solid. Just to clean it up. This is kind of a laundry room, don't you think? Yeah. Wait, what's over here? Oh, that's nice. Oh. That's a bathroom. Oh, that's foul. A bathroom, well. Ooh, that's like see, worse than any gas station bathroom <laughs> I've ever seen. Wow. Well, they say kitchens and baths sell houses. Yeah, that one's not selling any houses anytime soon. No. Here, get there. Ah! Don't push me in there. <laughs> I don't want to touch anything. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, look, if the plumbing works, yeah. No, I mean, it's a great place for a bathroom down. I mean, I don't know about great, but it's a it's a half bath down here. Does that mean anything? Well, but you have to walk through. I mean, unless we can wall this off, which you have to have some clearance for it. So we have a new hot water heater. That's good. We just need a new furnace because this is, uh, let me see. Lugs air. Hold All right, on, so hold on, hold on. Oh, the electrical panel is right there. It is? What is it? It's big. It's got to be 150 or two. Is it breakers? Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Oh. That's, there's a savings. I didn't know, I thought we had to put an electrical panel in. But that's I, good. But I have an idea. Uh-oh. Let's go look over here. The design queen is on it. Okay. What's your idea? Well, this is like, kind of like a little den. We have a living room upstairs, so this is like a second little area. I mean, I think this goes to the garage. Just so you know. Yes. Oh. We never saw the garage before. Well, it's a garage. Hey, there's a snowblower. That's not a snowblower, that's a rototiller. <laughs> Southern girl. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. Good, um. luck, good luck blowing snow with that. You'll, <laughs> We can, we can churn, the, we can churn yeah, the snow up. Good idea. Um, okay, so we need to clean that up for sure. But yeah, so but, this but is like a second little- I wanted little... you to know that the, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> As I bite it coming down. You're very graceful. Oh yeah. Um, so second living area, den, whatever you want to call it. I don't like that you have to walk through a utility, utility area to get to the bathroom. So what if we put a door right here to the bathroom? It's a little challenging because that bathroom was long and narrow yeah. versus wide. So we'd yeah. have to figure out how to configure that. But um, that might be a better, more functional bathroom. Or just sort of box that in over there so it looks nice. I mean, just a, we're gonna have a new furnace too. There'll be a new furnace there. Well, you'd have to finish that whole area then. Cause you can't walk through a utility area, you know. Yeah. To go to a nice bathroom. Yeah, well, that's that's something you can figure out later. That's not a huge deal breaker one or the other, right? But we have we have, it's got high ceilings. It's finished down yeah, there. Yeah, that's great. What what is it down here? Is it a den? Yeah, let's just call it a den. You know, let, let's probably put some carpeting on the floor or hardwood. Put some or new light fixtures in. Paint. So it's just, it's more living space. Yeah, totally. It could be a dining. Well, I guess no, not dining room. Yeah, like a dining room. I had one of these lights growing up as a kid. Do you know that it retracts? Watch this. That's the light, and watch this. It went up by itself. You're showing your age. I know. <laughs> That's pretty sad. Okay, let's go upstairs and check out the upstairs. <clears throat> yeah, you know, there is no dining room in this house, so the, the odd part about it is you have to go downstairs to get to it, but it's only yeah, three it's or four stairs, so. Carrying food, right? Yeah. That's why I suggested it. <laughs> I'll, I'll process that. You let me know. I'll, 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 take, your, uh, I'll take your suggestion into consideration. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Okay. <coughs> yeah, no hands. It's smelling worse up here. No hands. Oof. Wow. Well, remember up here, honey, I was crawling up here over top of the railing last time. Yeah, and there was like, I smell cat piss up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, my God. Oof. Yeah.
Okay, so there's three bedrooms. You know, it's amazing what a coat of paint will do though. You know, even as wretched as this house is right now and disgusting, you know, if you clean the walls, possibly resheet rock them, because these are pretty bad. I don't, um, I don't think so. I, you, got, you keep saying that. You and the project manager keep saying we have to replace it. I think we're taking on a whole new cost. We don't take on. I know they're dirty, but I think, I think we can get them clean. I, th I think if you spent the money to clean them and then have them with the right so, paint. So, but, okay, so these most definitely have to be cleaned. Not yes. only painted, but cleaned. Correct. So by the time you spend all that time and labor to clean them, you may as well have re-sheetrocked re them. So, so, I, so respectfully, I disagree because you have to, you have to sheet rock, you have to trim, then paint the trim, then okay, paint so the, all that. A lot of this trim is going to have to be replaced anyway. Look at that. <sighs> you can't paint that. I'm trying so, to make so money what, on what, but what you're saving in material, I, you're spending in labor. I don't know. We can. Wait I, I, yeah, we're we gonna fight about that one. <laughs> we're gonna respectfully fight. Um, okay. Which means so, that I'll end up losing. What does that mean? So let's look at this bedroom over here. All right, this mm -hmm. one's a little rougher. Obviously, they had some water damage, or that was where the cats like to go potty. The problem with this spot right here is, is not only the stain, the stain we can cover. It's been so saturated that the wood is actually cupping and separating. So that, that probably will not sand out. So we'll probably just have to throw carpet up here. Okay. All right, okay. one more bedroom up here. Hey, retro, this wallpaper's back in style. Um, all right, so. These stains will probably sand out, and we have a little bit of gapping and cupping here, but that's not nearly as bad as the other room. We could maybe fill that in with some uh, sand dust and be okay. All right. Let me, let but me. like, you know, honey, all this trim's gonna have to get replaced anyway. This trim is really bad. That's not paintable. But we now, also- So here's another problem too. We pull that out, we can find problems. And we don't wanna, we never hide problems. We don't hide problems, but we don't go looking for them either. So we start tearing it out. We find something that's behind the wall where we have to deal with it. You know, we have to find, who knows what we can find back there. I, in this house, I don't know what I can find. I'm just, I want to throw out all the possibilities. So I don't know that it all has to be replaced, but I think there's some walls that Maybe are going some. to have to be, because I think I'll, they're just, I think they're beyond repair. And I think the I time it would take agree. to do it would be, and time is money. The longer we hold on to this I house. I agree, I agree. We're gonna do, you're gonna put bifold doors on there? Just fold out doors? Yeah, or? yeah. It, Look how high that is, though. We're gonna have to build that down. That's like way higher than a normal door. Okay. Have to add some lights to the <coughs> ceiling, probably. This old house has never had any lights in the ceiling, so. Yeah. This probably just ties to a switch. Right. Remember this from last time? A dirty mind's a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> what about a dirty house? This is a, uh, oh, this is, this is hoarder central in here. Look, let's go in the dirty bathroom next. I, I am not even going in there. That is disgusting. <clears throat> is that carpet or uh, just dirt? I'm not going to touch it, but I think it's carpet. Because look at, around the bottom of the toilet. It's like kind of creeping up it. Oh, that kind of makes me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. Oh, oh. honey. You're oh. never wearing those shoes in our house again. Whew. Well, I'm going to walk through four feet of snow getting out of here. So it'll be okay. Oh. Uh, the, wow. Look at the sink. Yeah. Look at so, the medicine cabinet. So, we agree we'll gut this room. To the studs. Yeah, to the studs. This has to be gutted right down. This is this is bad. This, this is all turned to, is it rust? It's all rusty in there? Okay, so bottom line, this has to be, I think we knew that going in. <coughs> Man. Here, come on out, babe. <laughs> Ooh, this is bad in here. <coughs> okay, so closet, I'm not sure what that's that is. That's, cool, that's kind of a cool closet. Okay. You know, good little linen closet. So three bedroom. So let's go back downstairs and discuss this thing. Yeah, it smells better down there. Let me go ahead of you. All right, so now we know what we have our hands on. It's the beauty here. This isn't just, I mean, it's funny how the hoarder turns into filth also. If you're not yeah. cleaning a house, it just turns into filth, so. But this the house smells like money. You know, there's a lot of people that wouldn't tackle a house like this just because of the way it looks and smells, but yeah. We got it for a really good price, and yep. we calculated for everything for renovations, so we should do okay here. So we'll start we'll start renovations next week. So we're gonna put a new kitchen, 
We're gonna redo the floors here. We're gonna have our paint lady come out, our paint professional come out from uh, PPG yep. and let us know what we can do. What can we do? What can't we do? What, she, what does she suggest? There's some amazing paint products these days too. So there might, well, let's just see. Let's find out. If we don't know what we don't know, let's find out, All right? Can uh -huh. we find out? Or uh -huh. you just want to start gutting everything? <laughs> you, just want to you just want to spend 30 grand just for the hell of it. I don't think it would be 30 grand to resheet well, rock it's anymore. not going to be cheap. You're going to, I'm telling you, you're going to open up a lot of can of worms of that crap. You start doing that, you're going to open up a whole new, a whole new can of worms that you don't want to start opening up. And all of a sudden it's going to be like, well, that's going to be replaced. Oh, we got to do that. And then, so once we start taking walls out, now everything has to come up, up to code. You know that, right? Once yes. sheetrock comes out, then the, then the building inspector says, okay, you don't have enough outlets. Now you don't have this. Oh, now that's out. Now this has to go to code. Oh, by the way, that window's not big enough. And all those things that we don't normally have to bring to code in the renovation, you're gonna you're gonna open that whole can of worms. And I think you're just gonna you're gonna blow our budget. I, on I this. think we're gonna meet in the middle. I think some of it's gonna have to be replaced. I, I agree. And some of it's gonna I agree. To but I want. Will you please agree? To have Aaron yes, come out that's with fine. That? Fine. I will take a professional's recommendation on the paint. Yes. Fine. Fine. All right. Good. Let's fine. Do that. I don't know if I won there or not. I kind of think I maybe lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know that thing Whenever when, I win, when I a woman add. when a woman says fine, what that really means? <laughs> I'm aware. I think I won, but I, I didn't. <laughs> so okay, so we're gonna get it looking good in here, right? Renovate, make a beautiful <clears> kitchen <throat> for it. There's no dining room, so what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna put a table? Can we do anything in the kitchen? What do you? What no, do you the kitchen's not big enough. Where? So where do you eat? You've got to have a place to eat. I mean, there's there's not even enough room in here to put like an island because it's not wide enough. So where do you eat? <coughs> we know what we're doing in the living room. We know what we're doing upstairs. We're finishing that. Putting it, so it's going to be three bedroom, one bath upstairs. We know that. We have a half bath downstairs and a, and a den we have to walk down to. So what are we going to do? How do we make money out of this? Because it's starting, it's starting to get expensive. <laughs> and you can't put a table over there because you have a door going out. I know. I wonder if I get rid of the door. Because there is a, there's a door down there that goes out back. Put a window there? Yeah. And then you could do, you could, you could almost, well, that, that leaves her a really small kitchen though. Boy, I'm siding to patch in if we get rid of that. Yeah. Plus it's a nice new door. It's one oh. of the few new things in this house. We could use that somewhere else though. I don't know. Let's get the kitchen designer in here to kind of lay things out. I mean, the, the size of the kitchen in itself isn't too bad. Um, we do have some openings, but, you know, we have enough walls. I don't love galley kitchens, but, you know, it, unless we just, like, totally rework this house, which is not in the budget. No. We have to kind of take what we have here. So there's definitely enough room in here to make it a very functional kitchen. And then maybe we do a little small dining area down there. It's a little unconventional, but... You know, if somebody really wants a house in this neighborhood with good neighborhood school district. Up for it yeah. Here. So let's go online too. Well, we should go online to get some ideas and let's look around at other houses that have sold because a lot of these are built kind of the same. I see some similar styles. Yeah. Over Maybe the years. Cookie cutter neighborhoods. Maybe we can see what they've done, where they eat. You know, if they have a house that's already staged or if they live in it or whatever. So, all right. So kitchen, then downstairs, we're going to den. We're going to fix the bathroom. We're going to figure out how to get over there to the bathroom. Yep. And uh, whether we do it. Really finished, probably just finished the whole thing off. It looks nice down there. Yeah, I agree. And then just decide how to box in the... I mean, the utility area is small enough that it's not going to cost a lot to make it look nice. Ooh, they left the furnace. That was scary. All right, so I guess that's it for this house for now. And then we have to decide what we do with the outside because now we're, we're surrounded by winter time. Right. So there's not a lot we can do with this house. Uh, we have to do the roof. We'll have to see if the roofing company wants to scrape that off and go from there. We've got, you know, that much snow on the roof, so... Hopefully she holds. So. Yep. All right. So that's our deal. Now we have the order house. We have it cleaned out. Now we see what we have. Our problem is we had no idea. Now we know what we have. So now the next thing for us to do is to get the crew out here and start getting to work and getting this thing done and back on the market. And uh, stay tuned. You'll see the finished product or midway through coming up. Yep. We'll see you later. <laughs>